What's up, you certified beauties? Nick here from Nick's Taxes, and today you can get another $1,000 worth of your CRB benefit, also known as the Canada Recovery Benefit. So this is another period, so if you were eligible for this two-week period that ended on Sunday, then you can get your $1,000, $900 after tax withholdings. As you may know, the CRB as well as the EI has been extended. So the CRB, while the eligibility still runs until September 25th, 2021, uh, you can actually get 19 periods worth of CERB or the equivalent of 38 weeks. Now before, right, it was not that long, I believe it was 13, it's got pushed to 19 eligibility periods. So if you apply for the CRB, every period so far and continue to apply for the CRB for every period, uh, period 19 will end at the end of June. Now, it's unknown if they will continue to um, extend out the CRB. We'll have to figure out what the state of our country is like at this time. I know here in Southern Ontario, we're still in lockdown and actually Hamilton, Ontario, just moved back into a gray zone. So it seems like areas of where there's a lot of uh, population are actually moving backwards rather than forwards. So we'll see what it looks like in a couple months. Um, but it might be a good idea if you're one of those people who have been trying in good faith to you know, spread out your CRB applications so that way you can kind of get your money for longer periods of time. It might honestly be better uh, to just apply now and then hope and see if they continue to extend it. They have extended it once, so that precedent is there, uh, and they might continue to extend it uh, come June as well. So if you're one of those people that kind of hold off, it actually might be a good idea to apply, uh, and you might end up getting more money at the end of the day. Since it's tax time, it's a good idea, again, to bring up that these CRB benefits are indeed taxable, and a lot of you guys are experiencing that this year when you're filing your 2020 taxes, right? Uh, if you're over $38,000 of net income, you do have to repay some or all of the CRB that you received in that year. So a lot of you guys uh, have been experiencing balance owing on your tax return because you're also factoring in uh, a CERB or CRB repayment. And when you re have to repay the CRB, it's going to affect your refund and it's going to bite away your refund and turn yourself into likely a balance owing. So just keep track this year as well while you're receiving the CRB. If you think you're going back to work and you're around that 38K uh, net income, just be mindful and be kind of prepared to pay some of it back, right? The CRB. They only withhold 10%. It's very unlikely that your tax rate is going to be 10% or lower. Most likely you're gonna be in around a 25% tax rate at the very lowest. Also, if you have received the CRB in 2020 and your net income is below $75,000, you have until April of 2022 to actually repay your tax balance owing. So if you are in a position where you do owe quite a bit of money back and you can't afford to make that payment right now or maybe all at once, you do have a full year to pay that money back to the CRA without accumulating any interest. Now, I just wanna be, uh, I just wanna put this out there for you guys that April 30th of 2022 is when your 2021 taxes are gonna be due as well. So if you're one of those people who are just gonna put it off and not worry about it till next year, that might not be the best idea because if you owe again next year for taxes, you're gonna to have to pay this tax balance plus the next tax balance and it's gonna be an even bigger lump sum if you've just been putting it off and not preparing to make this payment, right? So I definitely recommend paying this off sooner than later and doing it before your next tax season because you never know what's going to happen. So this period again is period 13. It runs from March 14th to March 27th of 2021. That's period 13. Um, and the CRA website has been updated to uh, portray the new updates and the extension of these updates as well. If you need more information on if you qualify or what the eligibility periods are, the CRA website is up to date for you to go and check out. If you have any questions on the CRB, 
please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you got value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I will see you guys in the next video. Happy taxing.